I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will kind of understand what is continuous uniform distribution. So to begin with, uh, let me just talk about uh, the discrete part of it, right? So we will first write about discrete uniform distribution. We have taken many examples which are of this kind, discrete uniform distribution. For example, tossing a coin. It could be head or tail and uh, for both uh, the possibility is just 50-50, right? So similarly, we have other examples. For example, uh, let us say we roll a die. So if you roll a die, what is the possibility of getting any number? Now if I define my random number x as uh, the number between 1 to 6, so these are the possible numbers we, which you can get when you roll a die, right? What is their probability? So as you know, their probability is 1 out of 6, right? So it is, if you want to get 1, so the probability is 1, right? If you get 2, is 1 out of 6 again. So, so the probability is 1 out of 6 for all these numbers. If you have a fair die, correct? So for a fair die, that is what it is. So 1 probability is 1 over 6, 2 same probability, 3, 4, 5 or 6. So we say it's a fair die, right? So that's a fair die. So we notice here that there is absolutely uniform distribution, correct? So likewise, if you have uh, in a bag 10 balls, the probability of picking any ball will be 1 out of 10. Right, so if we just put numbers on the walls, for example, 1 to 10, again it will be kind of uniform distribution. Correct? So, in continuous uh, random variables, we have continuous uniform distribution. Right, so that's kind of a counterpart. So, that is what you learned in discrete. Now, we are moving on to continuous. uniform distribution. Now in continuous uniform distribution you expect a straight line there. Since a continuous random variable could take infinite number of values. So if we have a random variable x it takes infinite real values. in an interval that is kind of important right so so that makes it continuous so let me take an example let us say that we're talking about a math class which is normally the first class in our school let's say we talk about a math class which is the first class in the school and it starts at uh, let's say ATM so it starts at ATM right now what really happens is that uh, Teacher sometimes comes before time, sometimes late, sometimes exactly at 8, right? So that is how the distribution is. And let us assume that uh, this particular teacher comes at the most, may come about, uh, let's say, 4 minutes before time sometimes, right? So depending on how the traffic is. So let's say this is minus 4, uh, saying that 4 minutes before 8, the teacher arrives, or at times because of whatsoever reason teacher may get late and uh, over a period of a uh, couple of months it has been observed that the teacher could be at the most uh, let's say six minutes late okay so the, so the teacher could arrive any time between four minutes to eight to six past six minutes past eight do you understand so and the probability of the teacher coming at any of these times is kind of constant. Do you see that? So that's an example of continuous uniform distribution. Correct? So that could be the case. And for example, well, on the other hand, we have a student who is waiting at the bus terminal going to the college. Now, every day the student picks up one particular bus so to reach on time. Now that bus could be late or could come early at times. So based on that, we have a continuous 
uniform distribution. So there are many examples which could be explored. So let's work more with this example, which says that uh, this is about the teacher who is coming uh, sometimes before time, sometimes after time, but the interval is from minus 4 to 6. Now if that is the, what is the frequency or what should be the value of the, uh, I should say, probability density function. Now, when we talk about continuous random variables, we are normally not talking about frequencies, we are talking about probability density function, PDF, right? Now, what should be the probability density function? That is one thing which we need to figure out. So what we can say here is that since these are only the possibilities, therefore, we know one thing, that the probability is greater than zero if the interval of x is between minus 4, we can say equal to also, or less than equals to 6, right? Then we have some value. How much? We'll figure it out. Or it is equal to 0 otherwise. So otherwise the teacher will not be coming, right? So, so actually speaking, from negative infinity to positive infinity, apart from this interval, it is going to be zero. So that is how we define our continuous uniform distribution, right? So in between it is continuous. What should be that value? This is what we need to figure out. Now that we find from a concept which says what is the area in this rectangle? Well this area should be equal to how much? Can you tell me that? The area in this particular case should always be equal to 1, right? Since the sum of probabilities is 1. Do you see that? So since the sum of probabilities is equal to 1, area has to be 1. Correct? Now, to make the area as 1, what is one side of this rectangle? The length, for example, is 6 minus minus 4. So 6 minus minus 4 is the length. 6 minus minus 4, which is 10. Since this length is 10, what should be the height? It should be 1 tenth, correct? Therefore, the value of this function should be 1 tenth for the interval minus 4 to 6. Is that okay? So that is how we actually define a continuous uniform distribution. Is that perfectly fine, right? And denoted by the random variable distribution is uniform, that is u, and the interval is in this case from minus 4 to 6. So that is how it is written in short. Is that clear to you, right? So that is how it is. Now, based on this example, let me ask you a few questions, right? So let me write first question is based on this. Okay, we are done with that part. So discrete, done, right? Okay, now, now we're talking about the continuous, right? So question number one for you is, what is the probability for the teacher to come exactly at 8 a.m. So we'll say exactly at 8, okay? So 8 is the number which we are talking about. That means at 8 a.m. Do you understand? So tell me the answer for this. This is part A. Part B is, what is the probability that the teacher comes before 8? So let's answer these two. Okay, fine. Can you tell me what is the probability of teacher coming exactly at 8? Well, as we are saying, it is the area which we are interested in. And if you say exactly at 8, no interval specified, in that case the answer should be 0, since the width is 0. Do you get it? It's kind of a tricky question, very important to understand 
from continuous uniform distribution point of view okay if I would have said from 759 to 801 then there exists a value but if I say exactly at 8 there is no value at all zero so this is very important for you to understand okay part B probability when this value or that teacher comes before time so in that case we are looking into the probability of the teacher coming in this period that means maximum up to four is it okay so this area that is what we are interested in and this area is equal to the width here is four units we'll call this as zero right four units and height is one tenth does it make sense to you right so it is four over ten or two over five is that okay or you can say 0 0.4 either way so that is the probability for the teacher to be coming at this time before 8 correct so likewise we can actually solve questions based on uh, the given situation using different criteria. I hope you understand the application of this right there could be many examples this is one of them we'll explore more examples in the coming videos but I hope this video explains you the concept and also provide you with a good example uh, to understand the concept. I am Anil Kumar. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.